And now Texas people have been without power, food, water for over a week. There's going to be a lot of death. A lot of death. There's already a lot of death. 300,000 women flashlight would burn your skin. Right. And on the surface of the moon, while these people are playing golf, it was probably, can someone do the math? Figure out how many lumens a full moon has. Then figure out that with using the distance, how many lumens it would be on the surface of the moon, what the brightness would be. And no, the physics doesn't change when you're dealing with the moon. That's another reason that the space thing is fake is because Number 16. light is, is transferred in Number waves, four, right? 33. Everybody knows you got gamma, radio waves, infrared waves, ultraviolet, visual light spectrum, right? Okay, and then some, some child like the emperor with no clothes says, then how does light travel through a vacuum? Because as we all know, children, like little children can figure this out. As we all know, space has no medium. What do you mean space has no medium? I thought 16, it was a vacuum. Of course it's a vacuum. 33. So why do you need a medium to have a wave? Because just like in water, the wave needs the water to ripple. That's how the energy transfers. And then they went, hey, that's how far we're hey, first kill that kid, second, develop particle theory. But if we say it's a, we said it's a wave, everyone can calculate that it's a wave. You do frequency, it's a, clearly a wave, press, 25 crop. red. It's also a particle. Spin. Why does it have to be a particle? Or else we're wrong. If it isn't also a particle, it means we're wrong. And one of the tenets of modern science is that we're not wrong. No matter what everybody says. This is how it all happens, guys. This 16, is why they believe in dark 4, energy and dark energy. Second spin. It's because none of the calculations work based on their nonsense theory of gravity. So what they do, they say, well, 90% of the universe is dark matter. What does that mean? You can't see it. You can't calculate with it. You can't feel it. Can't measure it. Nothing. It's completely invisible. But so then why? How do you know it exists? Because without it, our equations would be wrong and gravity wouldn't be what we say it is. That's your only evidence for dark matter. Yes. Guys, I used to host a physics podcast at Caltech. I, I'm not, I, I get it. I'm a, a wacky comedian and an addict, but I'm a very smart person. Dark matter is, was invented just to justify their equations when they were presented that they were wrong. Because communists, Satanists, all these people, the, their one tenet is no matter what, never admit fault. You can shoot a guy in the head and get it on video and someone could go, look, you shot that guy. And they go, no, I didn't. And just never buckle. Look at Hillary Clinton. Look at all these people. You just never buckle. So, so how did your driver commit suicide with four bullets in the back of his head? He did. Oh, yeah. He committed suicide. Do you think that's possible? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you just wear the other person down. They go, no, you're lying. No, you're lying. Guys, it literally works. So particle theory, yeah, dark matter T is great. It's awesome. Let's take it back. Dark matter T, it's great. All right. So particle theory was created because just because a vacuum can't have a wave in it. And these people are so dumb. They're literally dumb people. The, the, the fetishization of the elite, quote unquote, the fake elite by the truth community is really exhausting. I don't listen to any of those people anymore that talk about like, oh, the cabal, the elite, what are they planning? They're literally retarded. Paul from Pockets of the Future had a great stream about um, about that. It was about the, uh, the death of Dr. J's brother and son. And it's, it's great. I highly recommend that. Listen to that. But it's like they, the, the people at the top of the pyramid are like retarded. They just know some basics about like never admit fault and just repetition. It's, it's, it's just training animals. That's all they're doing. And so when you have the divine spark and accept that you're not an animal, it doesn't work on you. Okay, wow, this is very generous. Can you play along the watchtower in your unique style on the piano? Yes, thank you for that. That's very generous. This setup is much better than D Live. The community is only getting better. Thank you for what you do. Yeah, yeah, I, if you accept the challenge, um, every attack just makes everything better. It's great. Yeah, D Live. I don't like working with a communist gaming company that operates on crypto lemons. I was just, you know, 
It worked at the time. Meanwhile, we're working on our own live stream. It's just going to have to have, it's just going to have to have subscriber cost. The elite just hired teams of lawyers to advise them. Yeah, but most lawyers are retarded. All right. <clears throat> there must be some kind of way out of here. Said the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. some of those high notes, but I just, I just go for it. You know, I don't have you. It's not perfect. I don't care. What? Okay. Uh, there are many here among us who feel that life is but a joke. Nihilism. Right? Laughing at everyone. Oh, laughing my ass off. Oh my God, it's all so funny. Oh, look, it's all funny. Really? It's not funny. I mean, some of this stuff isn't funny. Oh my God, I'm laughing my ass off. LMAO, I'm literally puking on my own dick. I'm laughing on my dick. I puked on my balls. I'm dying. I stabbed myself. I'm laughing so hard. Shut up. You and I have been through that. Cynicism, nihilism, and it is not our fate. Isn't that great? So let us not talk falsely now because the hour is getting late. Beautiful. Beauty. All right, cackle the hyenas. Oh my God, I puked on my own dick. I'm laughing so hard. I pissed on myself. Oh, I just stabbed myself. I'm laughing. I can't stop laughing and stabbing and pissing and puking. Okay. Clown world. All right. Uh, and if anybody wants to send a super chat to me and Kindon Bear, it is entropystream.live slash app slash Owen Benjamin Comedy. If you'd like directly to send some gravel for my babble or just a nice creation of yours, if you make anything or have a really good thing to say, like a really nice letter. Uh, P.O. Box 490, Sandpoint, Idaho, 83864. People having no respect for the truly sacred. Well, the truly sacred is God. Uh, I, don't know, dude, I, don't, I don't need to get theological every day. I know in these times, it's easy for me just to talk about like God and creation and stuff every day. But my job is to be funny and to lay gravy. And so and my job isn't to be a theologian. I don't have I'm not good enough at it. I'm not. You know, some baby boomer probably just got done masturbating and he was like, how does Owen Benjamin not believe that? And someone had a great comment back. They said he's not a priest, he's a comedian. Okay, hey, BB, I just did the math. On the surface of the moon, there would be, wow, okay, so hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. So whatever comes after trillions would be 56, uh, you know, bigger than trillions, 150 trillion, 76 billion, 800 million lumens on the moon. So do you think you could play golf in the, oh, but is that the same within the vacuum? I thought you said the particle theory makes it the same as in the back, vacuum. Uh, okay, kill that guy and go to the ivory tower and come up with another magical spell. Oh, Jesus, I am so wording. Oh, quadrillion, that's it. So... The amount of lumens on the moon. So ask your local 
um, light maker, like ask your local light bulb maker if 56 quadrillion, 150 million, 76 billion, 800 million lumens would be bright. Okay, and so now the reason the world is falling apart is one of the reasons the world's falling apart, and it is. Not in my house. My house is crushing. Check this out. Yeah. And so are a lot of your houses. We just got our sign. Ursa Manor Farm established 2018. Crush it. Keeping it simple. Like today, Amy made me my eggs on a open flame stove, like a wood stove in our in our little corner of the barn. Okay, it's uh the reason that these complex systems are falling apart is the forced acceptance of lies. Okay, like a, a medical expert can't say, I've read what's in a vaccine. I have some, not even some statements. I have some questions. Oh, you don't get a license then. You don't get to pay off your debts. Okay. You understand that that can't continue, right? It's like, you'll get to a point, we're already in the full inversion. Don't get me wrong, Dan Mark Bear. I have a lot of respect for Western medicine, especially when it comes to trauma, surgery, and you know, dealing with pain in certain ways, not with pills. So don't think I'm just against Western medicine. I'm, I'm a big fan of Western hospitals when it comes to a ton of stuff. When it comes to, uh, but it's get, when it comes to wellness and keeping your health, it doesn't really get any worse. <laughs> it's like, so if you have to accept that you know, you got to wear this when you go outside. I don't know. I can't even. I, I, it's so. Okay. So now picture engineering. Think about what, what 7-Eleven was a part-time job did for the world of engineering. Okay. What you witnessed is not physics. It's a magic trick. So engineers now have to go in and take classes about how you know, a few floors with some gas, with some jet fuel in it, collapse a giant steel frame building. Guys, there's a penalty to lies. Those same people are making wind turbines. Those same people are figuring out how to have efficient strategies with supply chains for food. Bill Gates is not smart, guys. He's not a smart guy. His life is filled with so many lies that like, if you put food supply into his hands, you're going to be sick. And it's not because he's just a bad man. He's operating on generational evil and lies. His dad was a bastard, allegedly. Hi, Big B. Can you please play Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR for Casey Bear's birthday? No one is having more fun. Yeah, thanks for looking out for Casey Bear. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Someone told me long ago. Oh, by the way, the mask thing is going to start breaking. There's always going to be people wearing masks, but I got some... Good news to show you, but it's like the next thing's gonna work just like it though if people don't start. But uh, here's the thing: let them do what they do. We got the bears. We're we're doing our own thing. I don't care what these people fall for anymore. Okay, I'll see you soon. Someone told me long ago. There's a call. Will you try and locate some good hog panel for the trellis? Will you check out the hog panel and locate some good stuff for the trellis and then I'll go pick it up in the truck? All right. <clears throat> Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know It's been coming for some time Happy birthday, Casey Barrett. Everybody has done this before. Just like you're thinking, when you're thinking of nothing, all of a sudden a name comes in your head about somebody calling you and all of a sudden the phone rings, you answer it, and it's them. How the fuck does that happen? What do you call that? This is exactly the same. Me seeing the number is like you picking up the fucking phone. No different. That's one of the many senses we have that these motherfuckers are trying to take away from us. We need to 
go back to the old ways. The really smart, intellectual. The ones that knew what was coming before it came. We wouldn't be in this shithole if we knew what was coming ahead. We lost our way. We need to find the many senses that we have as a miraculous human being. Fucking five senses. What a load of bullshit. We have many more. Many more. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday, Casey Bear. All right, what else was... Oh, yeah, like the good news about what's happening with the weather and Texas and all this stuff, and I don't think it's weather manipulation anymore. I think it's... I don't even know if these people are capable of it, guys. BB, if you need a caddy on the moon, I'm your guy. I will need a caddy on the moon. The good news is cold winters with snow and stuff rebalance the water table and make for great crops. So, you know, there's good news in that. What did Denmark Bear just say? It's God. It's always God. Yeah, it's like, like tea boarding. Yeah, yeah, tea boarding. It's like water boarding, but we use tea. And that way we get the information out of you, but you also get yourself a nice caffeine buzz and then relax. Only boomers would bring golf carts to the moon. They're terrible. I'm No, they don't exist. Guys, don't look at the boomer. The number the 17 black, exist. the number five. All right, am I caught up 32. on Super Chats, Kind and Bear? Texas has a drought almost every year. Yeah, it's great. Guys, snow is great for it. Ice is great for it. 17. Cold is great for it. It'll pop. You know, the the crops and the plants and everything is going to pop. Oh, yeah, the, the TikTok video, video with MacGyver. Song, but thank you for reminding me. It's it, like That's very helpful. Because sometimes I'll re-listen to my streams and I'm laughing have and crushing. And I'm like, 17, so pleasurable. I love 5, and 32. And then I'm like, God damn it, Big Bear. You were about to finish a thought, and then you just got sidetracked by making fun of Denmark's anus success, obsession. Hey, Big Bear, can you pl please play Ken Allen? And on the second spin, son, 16 like came up. your way and decode so, that song, because I think it sounds like Logos. Yeah, but first I'm going to play the MacGyver thing. There. And uh, by the way, uh, Rebecca Bear, listen to your song. It's a good song. I know that song. It's like... And there we go. Way out, no, 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 no. Way down below. 17, 32, and 5. Uh, I haven't like worked on it or anything, but I did listen to it. Way down below. Because I trust your taste in music because you're obsessed with uh, uh, post war dream. All right. What was I just going to play? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should skip the anal theme for a week, says Denmark Bear. Now, now, now it's more. Now I do it more. You just got yourself even more, Denmark Bear. The beings will continue Came until morale improves. 19. There's this show called MacGyver about a guy who uses whatever he has on hand to get himself out of bad situations. In this one, he makes sunglasses that can hide his face from security cameras. This is so cool, and I needed to know if it actually works. So I got some oversized sunglasses, some LED light remotes, and then took them apart to take out the infrared LED. Then I took out the batteries and attached them to the infrared LEDs and attached them to the sunglasses, just like MacGyver did in the show. To test it out, I'm just using a standard Wi-Fi security camera. I walked by the camera with and without the glasses, and they kind of worked. So I got some super bright infrared LEDs and remade the glasses myself. And it actually worked. It's way easier to just wear a mask, but I like where this kid's head's at. Okay, so we're going to do That's a second the spin. The mask thing is now forever. The good news about the mask 17. stuff. 32 and 5. now, even in 20 years, there's going to be people wearing masks. I mean, if anybody's still alive. There will be bears alive, obviously, but things are going to get dark out there. If you have your engineers, if you're training your engineers that we went to the moon and they can't calculate lumens and that buildings just commit suicide, uh, they're not going to be able to build anything, guys. They're going to be like, every one of their logic proofs, the givens are all wrong. Oof. Guys, there's a real cost to lying. It's not just like, oh, Father said Holy Ghost, I'm this best boy who loves the most. It's like, <clears throat> oh, but now you don't get to go to heaven. It's not, it's like, if you lie, you Came get up to go 32. to heaven. <clears throat> and when you got these institutional lies. On the second. Can't identify thieves due to masks. The second and spin. Seat. Yeah, yeah, now you can just wear the mask anytime you want. If you're about to, like, rob a bank or something, not that I'm saying to do that. But let's say, like, 
the man's out to get you and there's cameras everywhere. Just pretend you're paranoid about Cooties 19, about my coronavirus. So easy. All right. Two spins. Thousands of service members saying no to COVID vaccine. Some army units are seeing as few as one third agreeing to the vaccine. Yeah, I bet the baby boomers are no longer going to be like, thank you for your blood sacrifice so I can get BJ's in my Buick. You know, because the, the baby boomers are like, wait a minute, take the shot in the backs. Uh, and the army's like, nah. And they're like, what? Our banks don't hold cash. I'm all out of options. What are you talking about, Denmark Bear? Yeah, check out what you guys are referring to. Why would you hold any cash? I mean, everything always is going to work. It's more that than this, like, giant plan. There's a demonic plan. Robbing banks. Yeah, it's like, here, touch your phone to my phone so I can get some crypto. It's encrypted. Don't worry, they won't know who I am. Touch it. I got a gun. Touch it. So your, uh, your, your banks don't hold cash, Denmark Bear? That's hilarious. Man, Denmark is really... Just a country of the future, huh? Just poking and prodding, probing. So, so banks don't have any cash. <laughs> uh, so if you make a deposit, you have to you have to order it in advance. That's hilarious. What if you probe them a bit? What if you're like, why don't you, <laughs> Denmark of the beast? <laughs> <coughs> so we touch phones, and then I get the crypto. Wild. Yeah, like I was totally wrong about uh, Bitcoin. Now, I thought it was going to tank. I think I almost see a complete, don't get me wrong, it's still worth nothing. But to see it just keep going up and up, and now I'm starting, I'm not going to make any claims because I was wrong about the last one, but it almost seems like the entire paradigm of markets has changed. Where it's like nothing has any value. It's like, it's a nightmare. It's crazy. It could go to like a billion. Why? It's like, why not? If you can play golf on the moon, why not just say a Bitcoin's worth a zillion dollars? I mean, the, the world that we're currently experiencing is literally like that. It's like, oh, just say it's a billion. Like Tesla, there's ways of looking at a company where how much they make, how much they're worth versus uh, what their uh, evaluation is. And Tesla is, is like, a thousand percent more than any other company ever should be. You know, they make like no money and they, they're worth like all this money, but it's all fake and no one cares. That's why everyone's shorting Tesla because if you actually run the numbers on Tesla, all they have is debt and brand awareness. That's literally all they have. One Bitcoin is now 52,000. Dude, it's nuts. I, I thought... Like once it hit 10,000, I was like, oh, the pump and dump's over. And then it hit like 25. I'm like, oh, this is, people are going to lose their pants on this. And I mean, could it go to a billion? Like how many lumens was it? Was it 56 quadrillion? Tesla's charging $499 for space internet. Oh, dude, it's like, it's almost like a new paradigm in all of economics has shifted where it's just all nonsense. Because you're looking, because I look at graphs and stuff, and I look at when things spike and tank and all these predictors, and the, the, the market and the economy should have crashed this year, like bad, like, like 90%, like boom. And uh, it's just not, it just keeps going up and up and up. Ones and, I'm and like, zeros. But all the graphs, you know, the interest rate, is it like 0.5%? It's like the housing is like so inflated. Everything's inflated to a point where, but do they have control over the entire world's monetary so they can just make up numbers? But see, then the result is quality. There's a reason people have systems that you have to be in a system that works where it's like, oh, if you like, okay, in 2020, guys, in the year 2020, 40% of all dollars ever printed in America, and that not that they're really printing anything, but just invented, were made since 1789. 
to 2020, there's been X amount of dollars printed in America or created. 40% was in the year 2020. Nothing. It's like, and people are like, yeah, great. Just keep pumping, pump, 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 but, but pump. And that's why I'm like, dude, Bitcoin's about to tank. Cause it's like, it's based on nothing. It's, it's silver's up 500% since 2001 by physical and all. Oh, that's, I get that. I, I understand. But like the inflation is insane guys, insane. And it hasn't hit retail yet. Groceries are up. Prices on building materials are up. Everything's up. But it's like, it should be like Weimar Republic up. Like it should make Weimar Republic look like a real stable, small European nation in the 1980s. We're also missing a hundred trillion in credit money in the, dude, it's, so when's the crash? You guys are paranoid. Oh yeah, yeah. Well actually, um, congratulations to Be Grateful Bear. Where is it? Gab, like gab.com tweeted out his video and uh, about the it crashed. And you can get that video at unbearablesmedia.com. So that's awesome. Because Gab is gonna be a viable alternative to Twitter because Twitter is just so, it's just Gab needed a, a, a lot more people to make it, uh, and the baby boomers need so much convenience that if it's not easily gotten from the Apple store on their phone, even if they call themselves uh, conservatives, they're literally children. That's why they're called baby boomers. Because if it's not like, if they can't just tap, tap, tap to get a Buick, a blowjob and their social media, they won't do it. But, but uh, Gab is a valid, it's starting to become like a valid alternative because Twitter's become, like they ban anybody interesting. Why has the shipping, the price for shipping containers from China gone up by four times? Um, I don't know, but it has. I mean, I, I'm very confused with a lot of this stuff because all of the signs for biggest collapse in history of economies are all there and they've been here all year. And so um, I don't know what they're doing. So if they're just operating on total nonsense, where it's like, oh yeah, Tesla's worth the, uh, you know, nine billion teddy bears. It's like, what? Oh yeah, it's a new currency. I just made it up, it's called teddy bears. Teddy bear coin, sorry, I'll say coin at the end. Teddy bear coin. Nine zillion teddy bear coin. Oh, now it's zero. Now it's not five billion. Elon Musk said something. Oh, he tweeted something. I oh, smoked weed with Joe Rogan. One zillion teddy bear coins. What are you talking about? One, one teddy bear coin. Now you're now you're in debt, guys. It's the, it, it, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> and so when you start acting like that, there's a it's like you're playing with either you're playing with fire, or you've accepted that the quality of your society and civilization is going to descend to the point where no one knows how to flush a toilet. All right. Pickle Bear says, a fly landed on the chair next to me and I think he was tuning into the stream. I have photo evidence, great stream alluring to all sorts of beings. Thank you, Pickle Bear. And thanks for uh, making that video recently. BB, what cover story did they give Amy about the jet fuel and steel beams? I'm a structural iron worker and I've pontificated it a lot. I'll have her on when she, she's at the store right now, but, um, but I'll ask her. It just, it, she had a workshop sponsored by the CIA. It was on her tote bag. Don't build your house on sand. Could it be that a digital pixel be the equivalent of a concept of sand? I don't know, man. I, I mean, because when you're looking at all the factors, it's all there. Like, there's never been a time when there wasn't a collapse with all the... Oh, you're just, you're just saying that, guys, 40% of small businesses went bankrupt in 2020. And it didn't affect the stock market. Uh, what? That, that's ridiculous. Stock markets are at all-time highs when... One fourth, there's a lot of fours running around right now, but when the one fourth of shipping out of China, like one fourth, 75% is shut down, 40% of small business is gone. They printed 40%, I know there's a lot of 40s, I don't know, it's just these are the stats. 40% of all the money ever printed was printing in 2020. The houses are so unfathomably, 1.9 trillion in stimulus that went to just people who just like bought Bitcoins. 
that this isn't real. There's nothing real about any of this. Bitcoin being at $52,000 of Bitcoin as an alternative currency that no one uses. Guys, let that sink in. It's supposed to be a currency that, and no one, has anyone here ever walked into a store or went online and bought things in Bitcoin? No, because it's not even close to stable. It's a pump and dump. It's like, it's like, oh, I walked into the store and I have this much to buy and now I have twice as much and now 